Let me ask you something. When you think about aging well, what comes to mind for you? Do you think about getting jacked, bigger chest, bigger arms, six pack abs maybe, or do you picture being able to carry your own groceries, get up off the floor, climb stairs without grabbing the handrail, and not worrying about a fall that could change your life forever? Because that's the real goal after the age of 50. It's not just muscle size, it's function, strength, stability, independence. So today I wanna to talk about a newer study in adults over 60 that looked at a supplement combination you possibly heard of, creatine plus HMB, which is beta hydroxy beta methyl butyrate. It's a big word. I'll link the study in the description below if you want to read it yourself. But here's the big takeaway. In this study, people got stronger and a lot of that improvement happened without big changes in muscle size. Why would that matter? Well, because it tells us that this supplement combination may have impacted something even more important than muscle growth by possibly improving muscle quality and how well the muscles and the nervous system work together, the wiring. And if you're over 50, that's exactly what we want. As we age, something called sarcopenia kicks in. That's age-related muscle loss. But here's what's often misunderstood. Sarcopenia isn't just shrinking muscles. A huge part of aging is something called dynapenia, and that's the loss of strength and power that comes with aging. Even when muscle size hasn't changed much, the signal from your brain gets weaker as we age. Muscles don't fire as efficiently. Reaction time slows, coordination gets worse. So someone may not look all that different, physically speaking, but they're weaker, they tire faster, and they're one bad step away from a fall. And in the ER, that's exactly what I see. People don't come in because their biceps aren't big enough. They come in because they fell. And in older adults, that fall often isn't random. It's often the result of declining function. So if a supplement combination can improve functional strength, even without significant muscle growth, that's a really big deal. So let's talk about this study. This was a high quality study. It was randomized, double blind, placebo controlled. It was a crossover design. That means each person served as their own control. They studied 30 physically active adults over the age of 60. The average age was about 63. Some participants were in their 80s, but these weren't frail nursing home patients. These were active adults, and that matters when it comes to interpreting the results. Everyone trained four supervised sessions per week. They they didn't just lift weights, they did strength training, power training, circuit training, moderate cardio. The program was structured, warm up, main training, cool down. It wasn't casual random exercise. It was supervised and with high adherence. The only difference was supplementation. For six weeks, participants took either creatine plus HMB or they took a placebo. Then they took a three week break and they switched. And the dose, three grams of creatine per day with three grams of HMB mixed in yogurt or juice taken about 30 minutes before bedtime. No loading phase, no complicated schedule. So what did they measure? Well, they looked at body composition, but more importantly, they looked at functional strength and endurance. Things like grip strength, leg and back strength, arm strength, 30 minute dumbbell curls, push-ups, crunches, and pull-up hold time. This wasn't just about how their muscles look, it was about what their body could do with and without these supplements on board. So what did they find? Well, first, body composition showed small positive of trend. Fat mass went down a bit. Muscle size changes were modest at best, but strength and endurance, that's where things changed. Grip strength improved. Leg and back strength improved. Arm strength improved. Endurance improved a lot. Dumbbell curls went from about 28 to almost 40 reps. Crunches went from around 26 to 35. Push-ups from about 15 to 22. Pull-up hold time improved from about 15 seconds to over 20. Meanwhile, the placebo group, very little change. Sometimes no improvement at all. So what's the big headline here? Well, it seems to be this. Six weeks of creatine plus HMB combined with good training led to meaningful improvements in functional strength and endurance in already active adults over the age of 60. The researchers then asked an important question. Were these strength gains caused by muscle growth? And the answer was mostly no. Most of the strength improvement happened independent of muscle mass change. And that shines a light on the nervous system. Better muscle activation, better better coordination, better efficiency. If you train consistently yourself, you may have already noticed something like this. You get stronger before you look much different. Your body learns the movement. You recruit muscle better. You stabilize better. And in older adults, that may be the big payoff because especially as we age, function matters more than muscle size. So why might these two supplements work together? Well, here's the basic science. Creatine helps your muscle cells regenerate energy faster. It helps recharge the muscle's drained battery, a molecule called AD. 
ATP or adenosine diphosphate, and it helps it turn it back into the cell's fully charged battery, which is a molecule called ATP or adenosine triphosphate. That helps you produce power more quickly than typically happens without supplemental creatine. Creatine helps you do more work because it keeps your cells battery charged. It helps you recover between sets, and in doing so, creatine often allows you to train a little harder or get a little more quality work done, and that compounds over time. Now, HMB, it's different. HMB is a metabolite of leucine, and it's often described as anti-catabolic, meaning it helps reduce muscle protein breakdown. It may help with both recovery and muscle preservation, especially during stress, illness, or in periods where older adults are more vulnerable to losing muscle in the first place. So creatine helps the engine run more efficiently. HMB helps protect the engine from breaking down. That's the concept. And together, the combination appears to support strength improvements, even when muscle gain and growth is modest. Now, some important limitations. This was a small study, only 30 people. The participants were already active, so the results might not apply the same way to sedentary or frail adults. And they didn't test creatine alone. They didn't test HMB alone, only the combination of the two. And body composition was measured with bioimpedance, not a DEXA scan. So subtle muscle changes certainly could have been missed. But even with these limits, the functional improvements were pretty impressive. So what does that mean for us after the age of 50? Well, if your goal is aging well and staying strong, think less about bulking. Think more about improving your capacity for squatting, pushing, pulling, lifting, and carrying, building strength and stamina safely. That's what keeps us independent. This study supports the idea that combining consistent training with a simple daily supplement stack, three grams of creatine plus three grams of HMB may improve functional performance, even in as little as six weeks in active adults over the age of 60. If you have kidney disease or complex medical conditions, talk with your doctor first before trying this combination. And remember this, supplements don't replace training. They support training. No training means no benefit. So let me end with this. As an ER doctor, I've seen what happens when people lose function. It's not just weakness. It's loss of confidence, standing, or walking up and down stairs, loss of independence, loss of control. Strength is protective. Endurance is protective. Coordination is protective. After the age of 50, the primary goal isn't to look younger, though most of us wouldn't mind that. The goal is to move like you still own your body with strength, balance, and stability. Those should come first. Train smart, stay strong, and keep living your best life after 50 and beyond. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Thanks so much for watching, and please share this video with someone you feel would benefit from watching it as well. All the best to you, and I will see you in the next video.